Hi everyone, Paolo here. So welcome to just another dang how-to channel, my very long channel name. So on this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to install a free SSL on your Google Cloud instance running on Bitnami WordPress. So what is an SSL? Basically, SSL is a way to secure your website to make sure that information flowing in and out is, sec is secure and cannot be tampered with by any hackers. So since last year, um, Google has implemented that if your website doesn't have a SSL installed on it, it's going to start showing that your website is not secure. So if I go to my website, nopao.com, you would see that's now showing that my site's not secure. So let's fix that. So there's a free SSL certificate that you can install, which is called Let's Encrypt. Let's Encrypt is a free automated and open certificate authority. It's open source and it's backed up by some very big names like Mozilla, Akamai, Cisco. So you could tell that this is really legit. So to get started, you need to have a client. So the types of client that you could install are here. So they recommend CertBot. So I did try CertBot, but run into some issues with my Google Cloud instance. And there are several others here that you could try. What we're going to use instead is Lego. And I'll teach you how to use that and install the certificate using that. So if I jump into my Google Cloud instance, I just need to grab the IP address of my instance. So if I go to Network Set, networking network services and cloud dns and click on cloud dns here click on here so basically what i'm checking here is that my a record is already con uh, has been configured you could check my previous tutorial on how i did that and i'm just going to grab the ip address here because i'm going to connect using the terminal you could also connect using the uh, cloud shell but for this purpose of this demo, I'm going to connect using the good trusty terminal. So let me open up the terminal. Let me just quickly zoom in. So I'm going to connect to my Bitnami instance using SSH. So if you don't know how to do this, uh, check my previous tutorial. So SSH. I and I'm gonna supply my key and the user that I'm connected with and the IP address that I just copied so once I do that it's gonna ask me for a passphrase so that's my own personal passphrase on that key so I'm now logged into my instance um, the first thing that I need to do on my instance is move to a temporary directory so do a list here you can see that's only a change log md and a license that's in here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to install the lego client by grabbing the latest version from github so if i go to let's just quickly go to github so you can see what i'm doing here so on github I'll search for Lego. So this is the package that I'm trying to install and go to releases. And the latest version is 1.0.1 .1, and I'm installing the AMD 64.par Linux version, this one. So if I go back to my command line, so it's going to grab the latest version. You may need to edit this depending on what version is the latest. So hit that. If I do a list now, you can see I just downloaded it on my server. So I'm just going to quickly unzip this. And now I need to move this to the to become an executable. I need to move this on my local bin directory. So I'm going to say sudo move the lego folder to the user forward slash local forward slash bin forward slash and create that on that directory. That should be it. 
um, the next thing that I need to do is I need to stop my server. So I need to stop um, this website, so Apache, so that I could start um, installing the certificate. So I have a script handy from Bitnami, which is the control script which would stop the web server, stop the MySQL, and stop the PHP from running. Cool, so it's now stopped. I'm gonna run the next command, which is, I'm gonna call the Lego command. Um, I'm passing it my email address, and I'm passing the domains that I want to I have the SSL installed on. So I have the lopo.com without the www and I have lopo.com with the www. And it's going to extract those certificates on the Jetera forge slash Lego uh, directory. So I, I click run. Um, it's going to ask me for the terms of service. So I'm gonna, just going to say quickly yes. And this is now trying to generate a certificate for me from Let's Encrypt. So it says server responded with a certificate. So if I move to that directory, so cd etc lego, uh, I may need to run a uh, root. So I'm going to say sudo bash and say sudo etc lego and inside so i'm gonna do a list you would see that there's a certificate folder if i do another list you would see that there are three files inside the lopo.com.crt file and the lopo.com key so this were are the certificate that got generated so i just need to install this on my server so this is a special folder in Bitnami uh, where the Apache is running. So if I go to CD op Bitnami Apache conf enter that uh, do a list. So you would see I have an existing certificate here ser server.crt and server.key. So these are the ones that we need to replace. So I'm just going to quickly rename this to server server crt dot old dot twenty eighteen and I'm gonna do the same for the key key and let me do a list so you can see that those files has been have been renamed. Now I need to move the lopo.com key and the lopo.com CRT to this directory. So I'm gonna say move. So I'm just gonna copy this directory and I'll say lopo.com dot CRT and server.crt. So those files are going to be moved to this directory. Enter. And I'm going to do the same for the key. So I'm just going to swap the CRT with key. So if I do a list now, you would see that those files have now been copied over. So the next thing that I need to do is I need to edit the HTTPD configuration file for WordPress so that um, it would know that any users trying to access port 80, which is the non-SSL one, would get redirected to the SSL version. So if I go to CD, and Bitnami and apps and I do a list you see WordPress in there so I'm gonna go on to WordPress and go to configuration 
we'll do a list. So this is the file that we need to edit, the HTTP dash dot configuration. So I'm going to open my V editor and edit that file. And I'm going to insert the rewrite condition at the third line. So the rewrite condition is this one. So it's basically saying any user that tries to access port 80, I'm going to add my rule. My rule is redirect them to HTTPS www.wapo.com and then dollar sign one. So any value retrieved from here would be passed here. So basically any page that they were trying to access, they'll get redirected back here. So let me escape this one and save. And finally, I just need to restart my server back and I should be good. So calling the same script, but this time I'm, call, I'm calling start. So just started my SQL. Start PHP. And just started my web server so if I refresh this notice that it's not secure and it's now it's showing HTTPS so if I click on that you see his connection is secure and I click on the certificate you would see that certificate has been issued to this domain and it's issued by let's encrypt cool so that was it so that was my tutorial I've been wanting to do this for some time now I just got the time to do it now Anyway, if you like this video, thumbs up. If you don't like it, thumbs down. If you have questions, that's, drop it on the comments below. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel.